Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll solve one more problem on SOPL. Following is a trial balance of Z company for the year ended 31st March 2023. So they have given a trial balance of the company. Equity capital of rupees 100 each, amount is 35 lakhs. They have given sales also as well as purchases also. Debit column only erodu purchases, credit column only erodu sales. So I will try it for your clarification. In credit column, whatever the amount is there, that is sales. And in debit column, whatever the amount they have given, that is for purchases. Don't get confused in exam. Next is returns. Again, returns kuda debit column ali erodu sales returns. Credit column ali erodu purchase returns. So this you should remember before going exam before going to exam have a glance of this. So sales return is ten thousand, purchase return is twenty thousand. Next we have government bonds. So twenty percent government bonds we have. Next we have debentures, ten percent debentures. Property, plant, and equipment is there. Patents are there. Salaries is there. Opening stock they have given. ESI, employee state insurance they have given, bad debts are there, exceptional items are there, other comprehensive income is there, profits from discontinued operations is there, plus do we do have printing charges. Next, transfer 1 lakh rupees to reserve fund. This has to be ignored. Ignore this item. Tax provision is 30%. Consider that. Now let us check how to solve the problem. So this is a format to solve the SOPL statement of profit and loss account. First, always we have to consider revenue from operations. Revenue from operations to consider Madbeko. In question, check about sales. Yes, we do have sales also as well as sales return also. When we have two items, we have to open a working note. Here at item Kotaka working note one beko. So let us prepare the working note. Working note will have two columns, particulars column and amount column. Okay, first will be revenue from operations. So the formula is sales minus sales return. Sales bandu. Ombat laksha sales return is 10,000. Sales is 9 lakh, sales return is 10,000. If you subtract both, you will get 8 lakh 90,000. This 8 lakh 90,000 should be written over here. Aundu 8 lakh 90,000 Next, we have to add other income. Other income. So, in question, if you observe here, we do have something called as government bonds. This government bonds is other income. In Kotirta Kanta, government bonds is another income. So, total 10 lakh amount of government bonds is there. For that 20%, we have to, we will get the interest. So, 10 lakh into 20% will be 2 lakh rupees. This is other income. Now, add 8 lakh 90 plus 2 lakh, you get 10 lakh 90. This is our total income. Heng bantu idu andre, ente lakshada tombat sahara revenue from operations. Plus Yareda Laksha other income Yaredana add Madadre 10 lakh 90,000 rupees. Barate. Next, you have to write the fourth item. The fourth item is expenses. We have seven heads of expenses. Eight head of expenses. I will first display all those head of expenses. In that first one is cost of materials consumed. So, let us check the question. Questionally, how they read their cost of materials consumed by the information Kotila. Kotila and the zero on the consider Martini. Next will be purchase of stock in trade. Yes, it will purchase with a purchase return with a error item with us in the working note. Marbe Karate. So, working note number two. So, working note number two is for purchases. So the formula is purchase minus purchase return. Purchases value is 1 lakh rupees. Purchase return value is 20,000. Deridana subtract madadre 80,000 rupees parate. 
we get 80,000 as value. So that 80,000 we have to write it over here. Next, changes in inventory of finished goods, stock in trade and work in progress. We have opening stock. So opening stock is a closing stock cotilla, but still we have to prepare a working note. So working note number three, changes in inventory. The formula is opening stock minus closing stock. Opening stock only we have, closing stock we don't have. Opening stock matra kotti dare, closing stock kotti la. Kotti la andre, zero anta consider maadi. Answer will be 1 lakh. Answer will be 1 lakh. So that 1 lakh I will write in the SOP. Next, employee benefit expenses. So, questionally, opening stock I will highlight it. So, salary is there. ESI then. So, yared item is there. When there are two items, we have to open compulsorily working note. So, fourth working note. Fourth working note speaks about employee benefit expenses. Salary is there. ESI there. Salaries is 1 lakh 50,000. ESI 20,000. Adhered add maadu 1 lakh 70,000 rupees barate. So, 1 lakh 70,000 in the employee benefit expenses. Next, the finance cost. Finance cost we have 10% debentures. 4 lakh is 10% interest in the So, debentures 10% on 4 lakh will be 40,000 rupees. Next, let us check for depreciation and amortization. So, depreciation and amortization question only. When nothing is there, we will consider it as zero. Next, other expenses. We do have bad debts. We have uh, printing. So, two items are there. Here item is working note. So, working note number five. Working note number five speaks about other expenses. So, it will be bad debts plus printing. Bad debts is 70,000 and printing is 60,000. When you add both, it is 1,30,000. The same 1,30,000, we have to write it in our SOPL format. Now add all the expenses. 80,000 plus 1 lakh plus 1 lakh 70,000 plus 40,000 plus 1 lakh 30,000. We will get 5 lakh 20,000. This 5 lakh 20,000 is our total expenses 5 lakh 20000 is our total expenses we have found out total income and we do have total expenses now subtract both we will get profit or loss before exceptional items and tax either in a subtract madre yavudyadu total income 10 lakh 90000 minus 5 lakh 20000 is total expenses is read in a subtract manager 5 lakh 70,000 rupees per day. Other in the exceptional items in the question they have given exception items in debit column. When they have given in the debit column, it means that it is expenses. Debit column ali kotis are in the expenses and the treatment beko credit column ali kotis are income and the exceptional items expenses. So expense agreement in that we have to subtract subtract it so when we subtract we will get profit or loss before tax hang on to do 5 lakh 70 thousand minus 40 thousand we will get 5 lakh 30 thousand either in the tax expenses the minus money questionally they have clearly mentioned 30 percent is the tax so that 30 percent should be taken so 1 lakh 59 thousand per tax expenses Athena profits in the minus madre profits from continuing operations sigate henge bantu idu andre 1 lakh 59 sorry 5 lakh 30000 was actually the expense minus 1 lakh 59000 was the tax expenses so when you subtract both you get 3 lakh 71000 next step is to write profits from discontinued operations in question, they have given profits on discontinued operations is 8 lakh rupees. 
so 8 lakh rupees write it here again put the tax 30 percent tax on 8 lakh 30 percent on 8 lakh will be 2 lakh 40 thousand rupees next we will get profit or loss on discontinued operations after tax heng bante do 8 lakh minus 2 lakh 40 thousand will give us 5 lakh 60 thousand that is profits or loss from continued op discontinued operations nam giga continuing operations in the profit ko taito discontinued operations in the profit sikide ega other than add madidre total profit sikide so we have from continuing operations 3 lakh 71 thousand rupees plus discontinuing operations we have 9 lakh 31 thousand when you add both of which you will get sorry this is from discontinued operations it is 5 lakh 60 thousand when you add both you get 9 lakh 31 thousand for this you need to add OCI OCI is other comprehensive income so in question they have given other comprehensive income is 2 lakh rupees other comprehensive income is 2 lakh rupees so that 2 lakh rupees if you add you will get the total comprehensive income heng bante do 9 lakh 61000 plus other comprehensive income 2 lakh rupees idare dana add madadaga namge total comprehensive income barutte ade 11 lakh rupees now we have to find out eps eps for continued operations first the continued operations so total share capital bandu 35 lakh share capital ide Prati on the share in a value 100 rupees. Motai laksha total capital. Prati on the share in a value 100 rupees. So number of shares is equal to total capital divided by value of each share. So 35 lakhs divided by 100 will be 35,000 shares. So total profits from continued operations are 3 lakh 71,000 divided by 35,000 madre 10.6 madre. Ado earning per share for continued operations. Similar way earning per share for discontinued operations Martaga. Discontinued operations in the Pandirta Kanta profit 5 lakh 60,000. And in the number of shares 35,000 in the divide Madre 16 rupees Barate. Now, when you add both of this 10.6 plus 16, it will be 25, 26.6. This will be called as EPS from continued and discontinued operations. This is how we need to solve the problem. Hope you have understood how to solve the problem. In my next video, I'll come, come back with some more components. Thank you for watching the video. I'll come back with the next video.